James, I am not going to let you step an inch from this room. You are going to sleep on that bed with me. You are going to make love to me. For goodness sake, I am your wife. Get me. Listen, I am not moving an inch from this place. Get out of my way! And you are not going to the sitting room. It is not meant for sleeping. This is where you should sleep. You and I. I am tired. I don't feel a thing for you. Get it in your skull. I don't feel a thing for you. Even if you go new totally right here, I will not get an erection. That is as bad as it is. So let me go. You lie, James. You lie. You will get an erection. James, you would sleep with me. You would touch me. You would touch every part of my body. You will. What? It's either you touch me tonight or you kill me. Because you are not going to leave this room without touching me. Now, woman, listen to me. If you are sex starved, get yourself a dildo and leave me alone. Satisfy yourself. You can without me. Let me go. I should get myself a dildo. Your wife? James. I have been married to you for three good years. I don't... I don't appeal to you anymore. Am I that ugly and unattractive? This Anita girl, is she... Is she way prettier than I am? Has she got more curves than I do? Who oh, bewitched you, James? Talk to me, look at me. Look at me and tell me, look at me in the face. You got married to me. Who has done this to you? Who? Come out of this body. Come out. This is not the man I got married to. You have failed in your wifely duties. That is it. Angel, hurry up, we're late, yeah, eh? I'm Let here, I'm here. Angel. Yes, what is it? Are you not bringing Phil along? I left him with the nanny. Can we go? Why? What do you mean, why? Angel, how can you leave your son with the nanny on a Sunday afternoon? For goodness sake, James. That is the reason we pay her at the end of every month. It's her job. For real? Are you being serious here? Eh? From Monday through Friday, you are always at work. And on Saturdays, you still leave the baby with the nanny. Then on Sunday, which is the only day that you're supposed to have time for your baby, you're still leaving him with the nanny? Why? Why are you doing this? What do you mean, why? Why are you asking these questions? I already explained it to you. Let me tell you something. You are first a wife, a mother, before a chartered accountant. First thing first, okay? Don't misplace your priorities. Oh, please, James. We're heading for a party. A friend's celebration, actually. We shouldn't, we shouldn't go into the venue with long faces. This shouldn't be an issue. Let's just go, please. She disgusts me Though she's my wifey She makes me angry Yeah, honey, what's the name of this gospel artist again? Honey? What is it with you these days? Why do you like picking offense at any slightest opportunity? 
Is it because of Bill? Listen, I just... I felt he will be safer at home. Uh, well, I can see you prefer temporary freedom to real life obligations. Huh? James, will you stop with this? It's not true and you know it. It's not true. Eh? You see, let me tell you something. Your own son is not in confidence in you. Yes, that's how it seems. The child that you carried in your womb for nine months that made you went through labor. I don't know why you like abandoning him to someone else because you want to go out. Eh? It's the only child inconvenience in you. Let me know. That is not it. I just... I wanted him to be with Veronica. I just felt he will be, you know, happier and safer with Veronica. That's why I left him with her. Mm. Yes. That is not safe with you? It's... It's not like that. But, but what? Tell me now, do you have no explanation? Eh? All you want to do is jump from one table to another, greeting friends and people that don't even know you that much. Eh? So you think the boy is going to inconvenience you. The best thing for you to do is just to drop him with someone, anyone at all, so you have your the opportunity to move around. That is not good. I'm telling you, that is it. All right. I am sorry. It won't happen again, please. I'm truly sorry. Okay, that's how I should let you know. Jets Beyonce. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> what is this? Your dress is amazing. Thank you. But it is not a dress. Okay. It is a body. Mm -hmm. Drop the ego, <laughs> girl. Please. Drop it. Actually, it is called transformation. Uh -huh. Anything put on this body transforms to mm -hmm. elegance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seriously. You can also call it killer. Cuffs. Okay. Yes, so Enough, you know. You Wait, let me explain to you. Okay. Anything you put on this body turns into sexy mm -hmm. and elegant. Mm -hmm. We already know. We <laughs> already know. <laughs> <laughs> stop us. I'm telling you. <laughs> stop us. But my sister, let me tell you, you said two of you. People cannot intimidate you. We know. <laughs> they cannot forget, I don't drop one, no. But see, yeah, I sexy. Hey, you, are, you are. 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 Chest to that. Chest to that. Yes. Please, there's this body magic I heard about. Isn't worry. I went there for this body sculpting. Guys, they are amazing. Wow. It's called all this luxury empire and spa. Are you serious? Wow. We need to visit. We need, we need, we need to be there. there. What are you doing here? Uh, Jesus. I'm just having a little chit chat with my friends. You know, catching up on some just. It was too loud inside the party, so we decided to come out here too. So what? I'm asking you. Will you keep your mouth shut when I'm talking? I've been looking for you everywhere. Oh, look and cranny, I couldn't find you. And here you are, gossiping, talking about irrelevant issues. Oh, I see. This is the reason you refuse to come with your baby, right? So you can stand up and move around discussing rubbish with your friends here. Is this the reason I brought you here? I'm asking, is this the reason you came to this place with me? Will, will you go inside before I open my eyes? My eyes are shut before I open them. Get, go inside right now. Just go. Okay, see you later. Go. Oh, see you later, girl. Bye. Is he mad or something? I don't understand. Big, 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 big
Madam Veronica, ma, how are you? I'm very well. And how is my boy? He's fine. He's sleeping upstairs. Did he oh. cry? Just a little. No children are nah, neither here nor there. Cry small, play small. It's usual now. Already used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for everything, huh? And I see he's getting used to you. Of course, he'll keep looking at me like that, trying to get used to me. He's beginning to see me as if I'm his grandmother. Of course, <laughs> you are his grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, let me quickly see him. Okay. Oh, welcome. Sir. Thank you very much. Please, oh, do you need something? Let me get you. Okay. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand. What was that display for? <laughs> the scam called marriage. As in, no utter of respect for her at all. He couldn't even think that, oh, she was with her friends. He just humiliated her like that. But I've always told you that marriage is modern day slavery, but he wouldn't accept it. But that is the truth. Mencha. Mencha. All men are the same. They assume leadership over their wives. They expect their wives to serve them. Just like a slave would serve his master. I don't get it. What are you saying, God? Come on now. To men are responsible. Yes, they respect their wives. You don't use Judea's misfortune of a husband to judge other men. No, you can't do that. Okay. Just mention one husband who does not treat his wife as a slave. And I will say no more. Just one husband. Mm -hmm. Go on. One thousand and one men out there. That's just what I mean. Respect their wives. One I'm listening. Please. But there's the truth. Marriage, my food. Please, let's talk about something more important. <laughs> so tell me what's up with you. Oh, I'm tired from this party code. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Why is he crying? I just betted me, you know, babies, it's normal for them to cry. It's inconvenience now because of the water and everything. Where's his mother? She's downstairs, she's in the messy TV. Doing what? Watching television, of course. Watching TV? Sorry, Is it that you can't hear the baby crying or what? I I heard him crying, but I know why he's crying. Your baby is crying upstairs and you're here sitting comfortably watching TV. What is wrong with you? Just can you calm down? He's crying because Madame Veronica is giving him a bath. Every baby cries when they're bathing. Your son is crying in the hands of another woman and you're here sitting down. What is wrong with you? I'm asking you, is this how your mother brought you up? Excuse you. Why would you use such language on me? What are you doing here? I'm asking you, what the heck are you doing here? When your baby is crying in the eyes of another woman? For goodness sake, James, Madame Veronica is not another woman. She is my baby's nanny. I pay her, I feed her. I mean, her job here is to take care of my son. Why are you shouting and wanting to bring the roof down because she is giving him a bath? For your information, her job begins when you're not around. The moment you are around, it is your sole responsibility to take care of your baby. That makes you a mother. That's what makes you a wife for crying out loud. Exactly, is the 
color of your problem. I should be asking you what's the color of your untrained manners. It's eating you up. It is your laziness that is eating me up. Nonsense. anything else. What is it? What is it? What do you mean, what is it? James, when was the last time you touched me in this house as a woman? When? Well, I will remind you. It's been a month, for goodness sake, and each time I come to you, you always find a way have, to... Do you have a problem with that? I do have a problem with it. I am your wife, for goodness sake. Oh, really? Yes. And a wife is known only for demanding sexual satisfaction from the husband? Huh? Wait a minute. What are you saying? Are you implying that I haven't been carrying my duties as your wife in this house? Have you? Well, yes, I have. James, I... Hey, don't James me! Lie down and sleep, okay? And let me do the same. I don't have your time this night. It's enough and get adequate rest, okay? And the multivitamin the doctor said we should give to him twice a day. Don't forget. I won't forget, madam. Um, is there anything else? I, I, don't, I don't think so. But if there is anything, just call me on the phone. I will. Okay? How about right. the baby's food? Oh, my bad. Um, there's still some in the store. Okay. Once that one runs out, just go to the store and collect a new one. Okay? I'll, I'll see will. you later. Take don't care. Take okay. care. Bye bye, ma'am. See you. Have a nice day. Bye bye, ma'am. Bye. Bye bye. In today, mm -hmm. that your husband's behavior yesterday was totally wrong. Wrong is an understatement. It was nothing to write home about. How can he talk so rudely to his wife in a public place? It was obvious that he was angry with you. But he could have eaten it or even pretend about it. Where is his respect for the woman he calls his wife? You're still talking about respect. You know, I don't understand my husband anymore. He's been acting strange lately. I'm beginning to have a feeling that he's seen another woman. Exactly. That was what I concluded from this whole thing. The only reason he can give you such attitude publicly was that he is seeing another woman. Good. Don't quote me. Are you saying there is no man on earth that doesn't cheat? No. Is that what you guys are trying to tell me? Yes. You know the most annoying part of this whole thing is that my husband hasn't touched me in a month. <laughs> A whole month, if not two. You see, when I tell you girls that marriage is a scam, you guys will think it's just a slogan. Hmm? How can I, gold, stay for a whole week without bashing, let alone one month? Me that is single. Look at you, a married woman being so starved. And you were telling me, eh, maybe I should consider moving into one man's house all in the name of marriage. So I can be treated like trash like this? Over my dead body? No way? Good. Anyways, don't listen to her, please. Just get to find out who the woman is, then try to confront her husband. 
Please, don't listen to her. Just forget God, please. Don't listen to her. Lisa, give you people wrong advice. James. James. What is it? We need to talk. Can't you see I'm sleeping? 
please don't disturb me. I have to go back to bed. Okay? You have to go. James, let, 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 let you listen. If you think you are going to sneak into this house and lie comfortably on that bed without any form of explanation to me, then you are in for some joke. What is going on? What is it? Can't I have peace in my home? Well, even the Bible says that there is no peace for the wicked. Okay. What is it? Where are you coming from? My office. It is 1 a.m., James. And your phones were turned off. My batteries were flat. You couldn't charge with your... With your office charger or even your car charger. I didn't bother using them. Are you kidding me? You left me in the house since morning, knowing full well that I will be worried about you. Yet you did not bother to charge your phone, even when you could. I am begging you, please. I had a terrible day already. I need to rest my brain so it will function well tomorrow. I need to go to bed, okay? Who is she? Excuse you. Yes, you are quite excused. And don't pretend like you don't know what I am talking about. Who is she? I don't have anything to say. James, a woman is gradually taking my place in this house and you are telling me you have no word for me? You no longer eat my food. You no longer touch me. You keep late nights. We, we even barely have a conversation. What is going on? James, you need to explain everything to me because I am sick and tired of this whole thing. I, it, it, it's really getting me... I don't... James, what is going on? It's obvious you don't need me in this room. <clears throat> what, what? James, you will need to give me an explanation before you step out of this room. Please get out of my way. I am not going to leave your way. Get out of my way. James, you are not going anywhere. Out you won't move an inch from this out place. Out of my James, way. James, you are not going to leave this place. What? You, you want me to hit you? <laughs> Has it got into that? You want to hit me? Go ahead and hit me, James. Hit me! I'm sick and tired of this whole drama. Hit me, James! Go ahead! This whole thing looks like a setup. You won't get me. James, what? James, you, you, you. What have I done wrong? Where, where, where did I go wrong? What have I done to deserve this form of wickedness from you? Okay, please, I apologize. I beg you, even, even if I have wronged you, any way I have wronged you, I am sorry. This is too much for me to bear. I'm a woman, for goodness sake. Please. James. Madam. Oh, Guinea. Tell me, I've been asking you. We got I told you it's nothing. I'm fine. And you're crying. You can confide in me. You said I'm like a mother to you. And I'm like a mother to you. In fact, I am your mother. Please. It's my husband. Your husband? My marriage. Everything is crashing. I don't... I don't know what is going on. Don't cry like that. Listen, I'm done. My husband is no longer interested in me. Already? How did you know? Listen, I'm done. You know, sometimes men are like that. Yes! See that woman he's saying? Forget about her. Your husband will come back to his senses and come back to you, his wife. Are you sure? I am very sure I know it. I am older than you in marriage. I know better. These things happen in marriage. That woman he's saying, according to you, because me, I don't know. It's not his wife. Very soon he'll be tired of her. And he'll run back to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank 
you. It's okay. You're truly a mother. God knows I can never take such rubbish from any man. Never. In fact, they never born that man well that want to deal with me. They never born him well. Seriously. And seriously, this is really bad. 1 a.m. No, no. Mm. With his phones off, definitely he was with another woman. My question is, who is she? Where did my husband meet her? She's out there. Oh! Did you just ask that question? With all this ladies roaming the streets, you ask where he met her. Unbelievable. Girl, you are unbelievable. God, you sound like you don't know my husband anymore. We all know that he's a shy person. He hardly even speak to you guys. I am still wondering how my husband gathered the guts to walk up to a stranger to have a conversation with her. What do you mean? Hmm? He has clients. He has colleagues. He eats in a restaurant. He visits bars and beer parlors. He has a lot of women in his circle who are no longer strangers to him. And they meet all the time. So stop that shallow thinking and dig deep to find out who the husband snatcher is. And you think it is necessary for me to start digging? Unless you don't want your man and you don't want your marriage. Or you can find yourself a sweet, handsome, young bubble that will be giving you everything you want. Mm. Including financial support. No. Mm? Mm -mm. I don't support that. I don't support her cheating on a man, please. But you will encourage her. Mm? You will encourage her to endure a cheating husband. You will encourage her to continue in pains, self starved, no attention, no care, public embarrassment while her husband is somewhere enjoying himself from one woman to another. As for me, gold, if you cheat once, I will give you return match ten times. That is one for you, ten for me. Got no time to play. awake to know what time he comes home. Huh? I um I need your advice on something. Me? Yes, please sit down. On what? Do you think it's necessary I I try to get information on the woman in his life. Here, yeah. my daughter. Men are promiscuous and polygamous in nature. Above all, they need peace. You cannot take it away from them. No matter what a man does, he needs peace. He does not want a woman that will knock him at every given opportunity. I... <laughs> what are you saying in essence? What I'm saying in essence is that there's no need digging out the woman he is seeing or not seeing. It will bring problem to your marriage and to your home. Pretend everything is fine. And you see your husband come back to his senses and apologize for everything he has done wrong. Don't you want to be petted? Um, but I, I am sex-starved. 
I need care. I need attention as a woman. Madam. Ah. Don't let another person hear this thing you're saying. In this part of the world, women do not have a say in anything that has to do with sex. You wait for your man to come to you and not the other way around. Because we are seen as lesser gender in this part of the world. It is a man's world. When a man cheats, in fact, a man has the license to cheat severally and nothing happens. The marriage is intact. The relationship is intact. But once a woman cheats, hmm, your marriage ends. And you are seen as an ashaw, as a failure. Is that how you want people to begin to see you? Even when you see your husband cheat, you just put your eyes like this. So that you protect your marriage. And keep your home. Which is more important? Is it the sex? Or your baby? Your marriage? Which is more important? The work one. I'm an older woman. I am telling you what you will do to preserve your home. Go to bed. Like I told you earlier, is a man's world. Hmm. Let me go back to my chores. Yes. I need to stop it now. We've had three rounds already. Hmm? Let me relax. I'm exhausted. Okay, we can do this tomorrow. Hmm? James. James. Hmm? Wake up, James. What is it? Who is Anita? Hmm? Is it? Anita. Who is she? I don't get you, Anita. What are you talking about? You were mentioning her name right in your sleep. While I was touching you, you were, you were calling another woman's name. Who is she? What is it? Anita. James, you haven't said anything. You haven't answered me. Who is Anita? I don't know what you're talking about. Why would a woman be backward in her thinking this 21st century? Why? A man is free to cheat and nothing will happen. But when a woman cheats, is something else. In this generation. No, now. If a man can cheat, a woman can cheat as well. Yes! You cannot be unfaithful and you demand faithfulness from me. No way! I think we should focus on this woman. Who is she? Who is Anita? The focus should be on the man's advice. Because that is where the problem is. Yes, a lot of women are being treated like slaves in their matrimonial home. Because of this archaic mindset. Hmm? They say a man needs peace, right? So he messes around, I should pretend. He drinks and gets drunk. Womanizes and calls back home anytime he chooses, and that should not comfort him because he needs peace. Hmm? What kind of useless mindset is that? What about me? Am I a lot of wood? Don't I need peace too? Don't I? Exactly my point. Rubbish. You know, they say they want women to give men peace. Who gives these women peace? Oh. Do they have their own peace? 
Like I don't have any. They expect me to give peace to my husband when he hasn't given me any form of peace. He comes back home late. I am sex starved. I barely have a conversation with somebody I call my husband. And then they want me to give him peace. Where yeah, I want gets the peace from? When I don't have peace. Exactly, my sister. Nonsense peace. Hmm? That's what one useless man who wants to keep me in the house to treat me like a piece of rag all in the name of marriage. They never bond that man. Old. No, they never bond that man. Never. I, I just think we should just find out who she is. Confront that old fool. He either tells you who the other is or you bring home your own boyfriend. Simple. No. You do me, I do you. No. God, look at this. No, no, no. One, one. No, God, please. I do not accept that advice. You can't encourage your friend to cheat on, on her husband now. But you can encourage her to be dying in pain. Isn't she not a human being too? No, that's not the best thing to do. Please, just shut, shut it. Just shut it. Don't cheat on your husband. Sweetie, don't listen. If he cheats once, give it to him ten times over. Back to back. That's okay. Beautiful woman like you. Mama, mama, why is you play? You the allow one. Say what's happen. Ah, they never born a well though. What be set of human beings? You know, at this at this point I am confused. I I can't even explain what is going on. I can't think straight anymore. I don't know what to do. What is confusing you? A certain prince in the Bible needed an advice because of the prevalent situation at that point in Israel. He went to the elders to seek for the same advice and the elders told him what to do. He went to his friends to seek advice over the same matter. They told him what to do. He came back and forsook the advice of the elders and did what his young friends told him to do. And you know the consequences? He lost the throne of his fathers. The young people's advice is all about war. It's all about revenge. It's all about fighting. Which leads to regret, pain, sorrow. But the elder's advice is all about dialogue, understanding, peace, which in turn leads to joy everlasting. Do you know what the young people told him to do? Because the elder said, if you want to rule in this kingdom, rule with peace, dialogue, listen to the problems of the people. But do you know what the young people told him to do? Your father led with soft hand, rule with iron fist. Flock people, do not listen to anybody. At the end, he lost everything. The ball is in your court. Play it wisely. Makadia, mama. I don't even know what to say to you, but I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. And may God bless you. May he bless the works of your hand. He will continue to keep you here in good health for me. Mm -hmm. hmm? <laughs> Thank you. Amen. Thank you very much. You know you're like a daughter to me. I will never deceive you. Thank you, Mama. Thank you once more. You're welcome. Uh, let me go and check the baby. He must be awake oh. by now. Oh. Oh. And I'll bring him to you once he's awake so that you... You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Mama. All right. Hey. Oh.
Come in. You're welcome. Please come in. Where's your baby? I left him with the nanny. And what are you doing here? Waiting for your return to, to welcome you home properly. You shouldn't bother about me. What you should be bothered about is having the interest and taking care of your baby. Uh, uh, oh, oh, hold on. Listen, you're my husband. I ought to look out for you as well. You... I just wanted to welcome you home properly. Moreover, I made your favorite. Something really nice. I'm not hungry. She disgusts me. Cheers. Though she's my wifey, she makes me angry all the time. Leaving behind her responsibility makes me feel so bad. Oh, I don't want to regret. Say, here. Yeah, see, mommy. <laughs> Madam, you are crying. I'm tired. Huh? Of what? I am tired. What have I done wrong? What have I done? He's refused to eat my food again tonight. I am sure he has gone over to Anita's house and he's had enough to eat. And he refuses to eat my own meal. Don't talk like that. It's not a reason for you to be tired of fighting for your home. I told you before, God's time is the best. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't... I don't even know what, what, where to start from. I am thinking of going... You know what? I'm just going to quit my job and get to find out who this who this rival is. I need to know who she is. I need to fix this whole thing. But that is not the best option here. I've told you to be patient. Keep enduring. God will touch your husband's heart. Time eh? will tell. Oh, that everything will be fine. Let me just touch him. I am a woman. I need to be taken care of. I need attention. Someone needs to care for me. I am tired. Madam, I told you that might take a long time. Just keep praying. Someday God will touch your husband's heart. You should be paying attention to your child. Your child is crying. You're not even giving him any attention. You're busy dragging your husband. Is husband more important than your own child? Uh, this is the best thing you should do. Concentrate on your child. So Father, you said in your word that what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Father, with a heavy heart, I come before you to tell you that what you have joined together, this blessed union is at the edge of breaking. Anita, whoever you are, wherever you are, may you be consumed and exposed by the Holy Ghost fire. I send the Holy Ghost fire to you this minute. You Delilah, you serpent. Every spirit of adultery in my husband, Father, I take it away right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Devil, you are a liar. You shall not bring sadness to my home. You shall not bring tears to my home. Sugar baby, what am I seeing you again? You have not told me what you want from me. Baby, how do you mean? 
We just finished staying together last night. And you're asking me when you're seeing me again. As what? My boyfriend, or what? <laughs> what if I choose to become a Oliver Twist? Then, another 200k, and we are good to go. Of course, you know, money is not my problem. It's my problem. You have my account details, don't you? Yeah. Um, my colleagues are in the office. I have to go and see that. Is she your colleague? I still. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. This girl, she's so beautiful. She's gorgeous. Elegant personal child. I swear to God, if I should have this kind of girl, I will not chase after any other woman again. This kind of girl that I need. Whoa! Damn it. But you don't know how excited I am that I came to work before you today. Oh, please, my darling. You didn't. Hmm. I was here before you. Hmm? Where, where were you? I didn't come down. I was downstairs. I saw you when you drove in. Huh. Oh, oh my God. Which kind of life? This is very early morning. Babes, she been at that downstairs and first come here. Did I see you? Hmm. Stop lying now. Come on. Okay. I was inside that white bed you packed beside. Before I talk. Mm -hmm. You know, while I was inside my car still trying to get my bag before I came down, mm -hmm. I noticed that there were two people inside that car. Mm -hmm. And they heard movements when I see. Mm -hmm. Go! Don't mind what are you doing? Don't mind it, Jide Piko. We were just discussing. Mm. Ah. You are who? Hey. Mm. Mm. Why are you boy? Oh God. He offered to pay 200k mm. after I viewed him. And I spent last night at his place. He offered to dropped me at work this morning. <laughs> Look at what she's saying. This is your old guy and a mess and so on. Ah, God. Don't you want to get married? Hmm. So you don't want to settle down in one serious relationship? Right? Yeah. Do you know him and Kaki got serious relationship? Uh -huh. Seriously? Do you know him? Yeah? Abi, back one side. My darling, the guy likes you. It's a... <laughs> no, it's a good one. He likes you. I could call my mom goes in and <laughs> Seriously. Hey, baby. Come on. It's not like that. See, just give me a little time, okay? This is my problem with you. What do you mean by time waits for no one? Eh? What, what do you mean by that? You... you See, I'm planning to do what you ask me to do and you're telling me time waits for no one. Anita, listen to me, I'm talking. Listen to me. This is my problem with you. My problem with you is that you are too stubborn. I've agreed. Yes, I agree to do it, but I am asking for a little time. Do you think it's easy? No, do you think it's easy for a man to just stand up and make a decision of divorcing his wife? What if you were the one in her shoes? Please, let me breathe.
people. I will pay one Minera to have that girl. I like her. She's so beautiful. She's my spec. One million naira for my friend. And I can do the transfer right here. And now. Hey! hey, hey, hey. You see this life, eh? You know balance. This life, no balance at all. What's that? Because she is a married woman. She is a married woman. And so? Seriously. Do you know how many married women I've slept with? What are you saying? Huh. Her husband is leaving her. He hasn't touched her in three months. The woman you're looking at, she is so starving. Jehovah, how? Please, babe, connect us. Connect me and her. In fact, you see, I'm going to double the money. Mm. I'll double it just to have her. We'll double the money. <laughs> okay. Once money is involved, I can do anything. So I'll get her for you. That was my girl. Why are you talking? <laughs> it's alright. So where are we heading from here? Um, I will just take you home to change to something else. Then get your work clothes for tomorrow. Mm. So when we're done tomorrow, money, I will drop you home. You still want more of me and yet you are I am my friend. You know you're so sweet. Do you mean below that? Gosh. You know that where is your girl that I've been marrying Christ and so we want to have. I don't do love shit. Let me feel free. <laughs> Let's go. James, I am not going to let you step an inch from this room. You are going to sleep on that bed with me. You are going to make love to me. For goodness sake, I am your wife! Yeah. Listen, I am not moving an inch from this place. Get out of my way! And you are not going to the sitting room. It is not meant for sleeping. This is where you should sleep. You and I! I am tired! I don't feel a thing for you. Get it in your skull. I don't feel a thing for you. Even if you go new totally right here, I will not get an erection. That is as bad as it is. So let me go. You lie, James. You lie. You will get an erection. James, you would sleep with me. You would touch me. You would touch every part of my body. You will. What? It's either you touch me tonight or you kill me because you are not going to leave this room without touching me. Now, woman, listen to me. If you are sex starved, get yourself a dildo and leave me alone. Satisfy yourself. You can without me. Let me go. I should get myself a dildo. Your wife? James. I have been married to you for three good years. I don't... I don't appeal to you anymore. Am I that ugly and unattractive? This Anita girl, is she... Is she way prettier than I am? Has she got more curves than I do? Who oh, bewitched you, James? Talk to me, look at me. Look at me and tell me, look at me in the face. You got married to me. Who has done this to you? Who? Come out of this body, come out! This is not the man I got married to. You have failed in your wifely duties. That is it. Because I employed a maid to take care of our baby. Is that it? It's okay. I'll get a deal though. If that will make you happy. Better. Better. So, can I go now? She disgusts me, though she's my wifey. She makes me angry all the time. Leaving behind her responsibility makes me feel so bad. Oh, 
I don't wanna regret ever making her my Seriously. You mean your husband said you should get yourself a dido? I was shocked to my bone marrow. I couldn't believe it. But this is getting out of hand. But why are men so wicked and heartless? Why? But nobody is saying you should not cheat. But refusing to touch his wife is out of it. Other men do cheat and still have time for their wives. So why is it so different? No, why will he have to cheat on a woman who is too faithful to him? Why? You know what, Njide? Don't worry. You remember that guy that dropped me off yesterday? The Yahoo guy? Exactly. The guy is mad over you. I have tried to, to talk him out of it, but the more I try, the more he put pressure on me. He's even willing to pay me the sum of two million naira. Jesus Christ. Just for me to get you for him. That is a lie from the pit of hell. Hey. Being truthful to you, my dear. To what? Two million. What? Just to get you for him. I swear, this thing, I swear on everything I hold in this life. What? Hmm, my dear. That guy saw you and this. saw heaven. This life is not balanced, though. One is there refusing to touch his wife. Another man is there is ready to offer anything just to have her. Ready to pay anything. He might as well be cheating on his girlfriend or even his wife. No, 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 no. Joe doesn't do girlfriend and he is not married. He pays for every sex he has. Every. I can attest to that. Just think about it, my darling. This is temptation. Not against. A good temptation. Maybe yours could be 5M, 10M, who knows? <laughs> With better servicing down there. <laughs> my dear, you need to do something before that place starts. Please, can we leave the talk of that Yahoo guy and let's find a solution to our yeah, husband? Please. You see, you don't get badging on me like that. Don't ever try it. You are not my boyfriend. Hope you get that. Well, I didn't come for you. I came for your friend, didn't you? Hi. You look so beautiful and elegant personified. My name is Joel. Hi. Um, she already told me your name. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. If you don't mind, I would like to have a word with you. Um, unfortunately, I can't have a conversation with you, as you can see. I am married, um, so I'm not interested. I'll see you girls later, all right? Go, take I'll care. see you later. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. Fast, clear. Mm, focus! Take me out of here, or else I'm going to get a car. Rubbish. If I'm getting to the car, let me take you home. That make me change my mind. No woman will turn my offer down, and I'm serious about it. One just did. No, come on. She's just doing the normal. Initiate gra gra, that's what we we'll call it. She can't. You know what I mean? She can't. Not when money is involved, not when she sees money. You contracted me to do a job for you. Why did you decide to do it yourself? Why? What happened? You're asking me. Yes. You wanted to flow my hand just before your colleagues. That's not nice. A big guy like me. Come on, I have to flow yours too. Don't be crazy. I don't understand. Was I not the one that brought you to the office in the morning? Yes. But you don't have to come and pick me up again without telling me. But you know your car, are you? I know. My colleagues at the office, they have cars. And I can as well pick a taxi. 
Uh, okay. I'm sorry. I admit my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it. Okay. That's my girl. So, where am I taking you tonight? Are we going clubbing? Are we hanging out? Oh, please go and get yourself a girlfriend. I am really? not a girlfriend. Yes. You just say that to me. Yes, I just did. Meanwhile, I needed to get me another earring. The one I wore earlier got spoiled, so I needed to just fix it back it's in my bag now. Very important. Love good stuff. So I'll get you good. If that's all you want. Serious? Yeah. <laughs> that's so nice of you. Mmm. Mmm. You have to if you want the good. Fine. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh my Already. goodness. Mm. <clears throat> What's up now? How are you doing? Are you still coming over? Stop now. You know I don't like to stay alone. I'm bored and lonely. Oh. <laughs> I should go get myself a man. <laughs> You're so funny. You sound like man is one commodity that you see in the, on the shelf of uh, shelves of shops. A big. Please come now. Okay, do you want me to come over? Who? Joe, another guy. Hey! Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Enjoy. Have fun. I will manage. Bye bye. Good night. It's okay. Huh? Good. Go for me. Changing men like rapper. <sighs> Just look for a movie to watch and. Shower and go to bed. Well, good night. Oh, um, Madam Veronica. Please come. Okay, I'll sit down. Is there any problem? I know that there's no problem. I just want to thank you for everything you do in this house. Yes. I want you to know that I do not take it for granted. Yes, I know I pay you your salary at the end of every month, but I can't even equate it to the services you render to me here. I appreciate you a lot. Thank you. You're welcome, my dear. You're welcome. You too, I appreciate you as well for giving me the opportunity to serve you. That is because I see you as my mother. You know, since my mother passed away after training my brother and I as a widow, my life was never the same until you came along. You changed everything for me. You've, you've made life so easy for me. Thank you once again. Thank God for everything. But you're not sleeping. It's late already. I am, um, I'm waiting for him. Why? Why are you stressing yourself to wait for him? You should go to bed. It is not necessary. Hmm? Of course. You're already adding salt to already existing injury. By staying up awake 
to wait for someone that you don't even know where he is. I've told you to keep praying for him. One day God will touch him and he will change and come back to you. Trust me. Just one day. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me quickly go shower so that I can go rest. You know, filled with, in fact, it's a handful. <laughs> it's, a, it's okay. I'll be upstairs myself too. Why don't we go together? Uh, no, I just, um, I need some time by myself. Uh, I'll be upstairs in no time. Okay, make it fast. Okay. All right? All right. Go sit here. No how it's doing if I go to my room. You're welcome. You know, James, lots of men out there would give an arm and a leg just to be with me. But here you are treating me like a piece of shit. It's 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 all right. <sighs> James, I just want us to talk as man and wife. I know this whole problem started since I employed Veronica as a nanny here. But I need you to understand that I love this woman as a mother. Apart from her working as a nanny, she just like a mother to me. You know my story. You know I don't have a companion. There's this relationship between Veronica and I. A mother and daughter relationship. But if, if her presence here will continue to cause problems between us, I will terminate her appointment. I'll let her go. I will take the baby to the office every day as you have always wanted. Don't bother. It is too late already. Too late? I don't understand. You heard me. James, you, you need to come out straight. Do you want a divorce? You want to divorce me? Spill it already because I don't know what else to think. Give me a minute, let me get into the shower. I'll be in the office shortly, okay? Too late as a what? Hmm? Too late for what exactly? What, what audacity? What impetus? Hey! My sisters are really pulling through a whole lot of bullshit! All in the name of marriage. Nonsense. You know, I was actually going to talk to him about this morning. I didn't even realize that I hadn't gone to bed until 5 a.m. 
I don't sleep. Imagine that. 5 a.m. this morning. Because of one useless man that calls himself husband. This is unbelievable. Um, what nonsense. Um, I want to know. Too late as in trying to divorce you or to bring in the woman. No, if I were you, I will divorce that man now, now, now. Yes. I mean, you stand to, to, to benefit a whole lot of things from him. He's going to share his pockets into two. Yes, you already have a good paying job. You will take care of your son. Then you go out there and enjoy yourself with different young, sweet, succulent, handsome young men mm -hmm. that can give it to you. Five rounds, mm -hmm. morning, afternoon, mm -hmm. and night. Now you say go tire. Okay, you got nothing to lose. Can't you see? Uh, uh, please, Angie, they don't listen to this girl. Please, see. It's boring being a single girl. Yes, it is never easy. Loneliness will kill you, but boredom will kill you. Okay, look at me. I have a very good apartment. I have a good job. I have a car. But I'm incomplete because I need a man to complete me. Oh, so because she needs a man, she should not go and kill herself. Hmm? Even when that man is treating her like a piece of rag. Come on, girlfriend. Think about it. Um, Live when you stay calm. I'm telling you the gospel truth. Um, Look at your fresh face. Leave when you stay calm. But divorce is not the option. There are other options we haven't mentioned. Like what? Dialogue. Bringing it all party. Maybe his best friend, his pastor, his parents, somebody he has much respect for. Trust me, you cannot pretend that you don't crave for a man to call a husband. So please, you have, don't listen to her. Don't listen to her. Oh, why not we invite his God to? Hmm? Girl. Girl, we will court, we will court. You see this one? You don't court. Move on with your life yeah. before he will start to pan your beat that your face. Miracle. Yes. So no court. Yeah. You don't court. Ah, you know she's always giving bad advice. Mm -hmm. So don't listen to her. Please. I've said my own. Young, able bodied men, they outside, they wait for you. Don't listen to her. Then they they eye you up and down. Don't listen to her. My dear. The reason I brought you here is because I don't want Sharon to hear what I'm about to tell you. I don't want that her holier than thou attitude. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't want oh, it. Okay, good. What is it? It's about drill and um, babes. Please, good. You know that is the last thing I want to hear, right? I mean, you shouldn't be talking to me about that guy. Not at this critical point in my marriage. Can you listen to me first? Can you? Okay, I'm listening. I know he promised to credit my account, yes. But that's not why I'm here. It's not. I I'm here for something else. And what is that? Why are you here? I want to save your marriage. Can you just stop making me laugh? What do you mean you want to save my marriage? How? Mm -hmm. You know, there's a saying that goes, one doesn't value what he has until he loses it. Hmm. Do you know the fastest way to command a man's attention hmm? is to make him feel jealous. Yes, make him feel jealous. James is acting the way he's acting because he feels he's not dragging you with any man. Just imagine making you feel as if there is another man somewhere <laughs> and he will be in your shoes right now is a visual thing right there to walk properly if i get you correctly you are asking me to cheat on my husband 
Simply because I want to make you jealous. Is that it? Not exactly. It's just a game. Pretend as if there is someone else. Seriously. Come on, hang out with Jewel. Come back very late. Even the next morning. Let him feel your absence. You know, let him just feel that you could be in another man's arms. My dear, that feelings, that feelings has a way of resetting a man's brain back to normal. Believe me, it works all the time. You know, you, you do have points. So, how do we go about it? I mean, what am I supposed to do? <clears throat> you will drive to my house, huh? and then I will change you into something sexy. We will hang out with you all till midnight. If I pass the night at my place, or at least. Ha! 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 Hmm. Ha! Good. My darling. If a little cheating can make you have your mind back, what is there? After all, he's been cheating on you all this while. Come on, think about it. But I'm not saying he must do anything, though. What if it happens? What is there? Huh? Now let him come back expecting to see you, and you are not there. Believe me, it works like magic. He will feel all these pains you've been feeling all this while. Trust me, it's going to work. And it's going to make him start craving for you even more. Just try it out, seriously. You know you're a genius, right? I know. An evil genius. I know. Jesus, how did you come up with this? That is why I'm gold. You should not be called gold, though. Oh, oh God, what? The devil said, oh, please, please, <laughs> please, please. But I think, I think I like it. It's going to work. You know, men, they always feel they have the upper hand because we're keeping quiet. By the time we start showing them one or two, my dear, their brain can't even contain it. Why are you asleep? Let's get back to the office. How about a wine? Let's, 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 let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's All right. Let's go. Um, it's 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 good, good, good. My yes. darling, mm -hmm. you didn't bring me out here to come and smoke. Eh? I mean, where is he? He should come so that I can leave. Oh, come on, darling. Relax. He's on the way. Coming. Mm? <laughs> are you sure you're okay? Because you're beginning to manifest like somebody who's. Baby, you're not, you're not in the spirits. If you're in the spirit with me, oh my goodness gracious me. You're not in the spirits with me. Oh, you're not you will relax. It will calm your nerves. Please. I don't, I don't, I don't want it. Please, let's just do and go. I'm tired. Hmm. <sighs> You're tired. You want to go where? So that your useless husband hmm? has turned you into a piece of rock. Nothing more. Oh, oh my God. word. I can't believe this. So these youth are real. You're welcome. Thank you, my darling. You look so beautiful. <laughs> come Stop. Here. Oh, please go back. <laughs> I do like a go. baby. <laughs> mm. Looks so beautiful. Thank so, you. So, have you taken it? Why are you taking it out? That's what I want to drink. No, we have nice drinks there, like champagne, we have a Hennessy, or even red wine. I think red wine is. Uh, no, 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 no. There's no need for for any of those drinks. I need to go. It's it's, it's very late. I need to get back home. Good. A nice drink for a pretty girl like you. Come on, I'll get you something nice. Have a red one, okay? Oh, my darling, please. I want dumpling on, please. Dumpling on. Of course, darling. I'm coming. <laughs> okay, baby. I trust you, my darling. I'll darlings. get you something nice. Of course. <laughs> mm. Does this guy realize that I'm a married woman? Eh? Stop now. Good, stop. You need to be in the spirit, my love. Forget about that, your. Useless husband. Enjoy. That guy is the real thing. He can service that place. <laughs> hey! 
Ogabanchara. <laughs> By the time he's done with you, you don't need to cover it. You'll be begging him for more. Trust me. <laughs> Vero? Veronica! Sir? Come. How can you call me? Yes. Where's my wife? Hmm? My wife. Where's she? In today, right? Oh. She hasn't come back from work. Though she called me to tell me she'll be coming back late. This is past 11 p.m. already. She's not yet back. Maybe you should call her on the phone. Well, I've been telling that number to no avail. It's not going through. It's not going through? Why? Is it that it's, it's switched off or not connecting? Never mind. You can go back, okay? Thank you, sir. You look so pretty tonight. I mean, I've not seen a gorgeous, good looking girl like you all my life. You're so beautiful. Thank you. Your husband must be a good fellow and a lucky one. Yes, he is. I wish I can swap me for him. But wishes are not horses. Yes, wishes are not horses. I see something You're disturbing my peace. No problem. No. Sharon, where's your friend? You mean your wife? Yes. Where is she? Is she no. She's not. She has not come back from work and I've been dialing her number to no avail. It's not going through. Um she and Good left together earlier today from the office. Good, I've been calling her as well. Yeah, she's not taking her calls. As a matter of fact, she's even caught my calls. Okay. Let me just call. I'll call her now and get back to you. Let me find out what I'll call her. I'll call you back. All right, please do. 
please do. I'll be waiting, okay? Thank you. Hey, Sinjide. Ringing a while ago. Injured. Good. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. It better not be. Who oh, let this man now? Oh, maybe I should just switch off my phone and go to sleep. No, that does not speak well of me as a good girl. I'll just call him and tell him the number is not going through. Um, I, I just, uh, I can't, I can't reach them. The number is not going through. Yes. Okay, maybe we'll just wait till morning. All right, sir. I will still be trying your number out. Thank you. So, how are we going? Are you girls going home or are you coming with me? Whichever way is whatever you want to do, just take me out of here. I want to go. Um, you know what? Just uh, take her home. Me, I will drive myself. Good, are you sure you're fine? Because I know you have been drinking all this while. Are you sure you're good? <laughs> I'll be smoking as well. Uh, I am fine. Let's go. You know what? Um, let's drive with my car, right? So I will get I'll get you a room in my hotel. So I'll come pick your car in the morning. Me? Me? Yes. <laughs> you are there, you are there, you are there. Let's go. Huh? Are we ready? Yeah. Mm. Oh, Maybe I'm already on fire. No, no, I am. I, I can't do this. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't. No, no, baby, can't do this to me now. 
Please, just, just stop. Babe, what is it that you want? Is it money? Anything you want? If it's money, just mention it. I, I, I don't want. Any amount your lips can carry. I, I, I don't, I don't want your money. I'm, I'm someone else's wife. I, I can't, I can't do this. Please. Did please? Stop, stop, stop. I, I, I need to go. Stop, just stop. Okay, 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 That just dropped you off. Eh? I'm asking you. Oh, you, you, you think I didn't see you? I saw you right from my window. Who was that idiot that just dropped you off? Why are you barking like a dog? Why are you screaming? Stop barking. Who's that idiot? Hey, come on, open the gate for me. Open the gate. Who's that idiot that just dropped you off? It's alright. It's alright. You think I didn't see you, eh? Who is that man that dropped you off? I swear to God who made me! If you don't tell me where you're coming from right now, I might end up committing murder! Where are you coming from? Tell me! Who dropped you off? Who was this clothes you're putting on? Where is your car? Where are you coming from? So many questions. For who? Me? I will. You will do what? Uh, James, I am asking you. You will do what? You will not even try that shit with me. Don't you dare! Huh? Suddenly you have forgotten that you asked me to get a deal do. Did you? Well, I got myself one. Why are you so upset? I, you, we, we what? But, but what? Huh? Nothing happened last night. You know, with the way you have been treating me this past months, I wanted to get back at you. I wanted to cheat on you, but I couldn't. James is not in my nature to cheat. Listen, James. Why don't we try to work things out? Let's go back to the way we used to be. The happy couple, the, the ever joyous couple. I know how much you loved me. S stop hurting me. What, whatever it is that is trying to put asunder between us, let us fight and rise against it. Please. I still love you from the deepest part of my heart. Please. Please, James. It's too late already. 
those days are gone and gone forever. But why were you upset about last night? Because you are still in my house. And as long as you are under my roof, you can't be seeing another man. God. God, James, what has come over you? What is going on? This is not you, James. Why are you doing this? Why? This discussion is over. Wait, you mean after everything, Njide did not allow you to have your way with her? I swear to God, she didn't. What happened? That she doesn't want to cheat on her man. What? The same man that has been cheating on her for God knows how long. The same man that has refused to touch her for so long. Instead, ask her to go and get herself a dido. Can you imagine that? Are you serious? Yes! What is wrong with this girl? Why do some women like to, like to slave for a man? And at the end of the day, they will be complaining. <laughs> Gosh, this is absurd! Man, I'm envy of that man. He doesn't know the value of what he has. Listen, if I should lay my hand on him today, I swear to God, I will never look at any other woman in my entire life. I beg you! What do you ever have? You! Once you hit that one now, you will disappear. You should disappear. Who don't know you? I swear, this is please, serious. Can you just take me to work? I'm, I'm only late, please. And what if I don't want to? Don't make me, don't make me change my mind on you. I've told you that before. Fuck it. Let's go. Come, come let me spank that ass. Come here. Papa, will you come here? Njide? Mm -hmm. Where are you? You're already in the office. My friend, who are you expecting to bring your car? Eh? You must be joking. You better come and take the car and go bring your car wherever you packed it. I'm not your slave. Rubbish. But this is not fair. Why would you behave like that? You, you promised to bring back my car for me. I'm very angry and upset with you right now. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but babes, I couldn't just do it. I, could, I couldn't bring myself to do it. You know what? You should be ashamed of yourself. Don't worry, tomorrow you come to complain to me. How about your he goat of a husband is treating you like a piece of rag? God. The truth is, I, I have. Ah! The truth is, you was, you are too so naive. You have this slavery mentality syndrome. That is your problem. You know what? Take, take your khaki. Go and get your car. You can as well get yourself some brain. I'm done with you. Rubbish. God, it hasn't gotten to that place. Oh my God, I am losing everywhere. I am losing my marriage. I am losing my sanity. I am losing my friends. Oh God, please help me. I can't cheat on my husband. No, it's not possible. Even if he is not treating me right. I can't cheat on him. Anita, how are you? If the money is good, you be sounding this way. Hey, 
come on Anita, come on. We can't be going through the same topic all the time. I told you already, I don't want to be the one to send her packing. Uh, you know, with time she will do that herself, then I'll bring you in. I promised you that before, didn't I? It's okay, it's okay, you know what? Um, what do I do now? Uh, uh, okay, you know what? See, just get your bags ready. Hmm? I'm coming in now to help you. I'm taking you home today. Listen, who, who owns the box? Uh, Oga, Oga said make a card with a new wife. Ah, yes, so that's how it is, eh? He said that a new wife. Yeah. <laughs> Meaning? Come in, come in, come in. Yes, welcome. Welcome to your new home. Hmm? Feel free. Feel at home. My husband's hmm? home. Oh, oh, <laughs> thank you for that correction. Your husband's house. <laughs> uh, Dixon? Sir? Take that box to my room. Okay. Hurry up, hurry up. Let's go. What? I want to believe this is some sort of joke. <laughs> and. Anita? Yes. No, oh, it's got to be you, of course. <laughs> oh, my darling, it's me. It's Anita. Give me a bag. Mama. Give me a Oh, Mama. Mm -hmm. I am here finally. Finally, Mwambo. <laughs> hey, there is nothing like being in one's husband's house. Ah, you can say that again. I can't say that. Again, that. <laughs> I know, baby. Yes, <laughs> Mama. Madam Veronica. <laughs> what, what is going on here? Your daughter, why, why is she in my husband's house? Such is life. Eh? From a poor, wretched man to an expensive nanny and to the mother-in-law of the rich man of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Make your husband happy. Oh, baby. I love you. Husband is sweet. Especially when you're not going to can be sweet. Look at them. Go together. They know the same color. Go meet your husband. <laughs> Wow, I never knew you know about colors, eh? Why would I? <laughs> Am I blind? <laughs> you can't do this to me. You, you can't do this. This is... This is oh, not right. me to my room. Oh, uh -uh. Just, is that way? Oh, yeah. okay. Yes. Oh, so the way to my husband's yeah. room. Your husband's room is just by the... That is the master's bedroom. Oh, the ambulance on the big bed. <laughs> Enjoy, Oma. Enjoy. Mm. Please. Please. Tell me this is a joke. How can it be a joke? Is that your daughter? Of course, it must be my daughter. Such is life. It is no longer that poor, wretched nanny. Please. It is now an expensive nanny. Mother in law to the rich man of the house. To the big man of the house. I beg you. Oh, I beg you in God's name. Don't do this to me. What did I do to you? Please. No, tell me, what did I do to you? It's even good you're kneeling. Do you know how many months I have knelt to serve you? Do you know how many months I've knelt for you to give me stipend as my salary? That is not true. Do you know how many times I have knelt for me to say thank you, ma? At my age, I am kneeling down to thank you. And you're answering, oh, Madam Veronica, now is Judeka. Accept it. Life is done by turn. This is my turn to enjoy. Look at the kind of house you're living in. Look at the chair you sit on, very expensive. Let me equally enjoy it as a co-owner. 
<laughs> and not as a nanny. You think you're doing a favor? Now, it is Viber, sir. I'm actually doing you the favor. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, ma. Yes, morning. Why did you have to run into the road like that? Madam, please, I am sorry. Don't be angry with me. He's hunger. Hunger is killing my children and I. In fact, hunger has swept my feet off my house. I don't know what to do. I've been going from house to house looking for who to employ me. I can't do anything. I can wash. I can be a nanny. I can't do anything for money, please. Madam, please. Madam, 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 madam. <laughs> It's okay, you don't have to cry, all right? I'm not going to mum jebe. I'm not going to know why. It is, it's not controllable. I cannot control it it's again. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please help me. Okay, um, the thing is, I, I'm actually in need of a nanny. A live-in nanny, someone who would stay in my house. With no pleasure. I wouldn't mind. I will stay in the, even at the back of your house. I will stay there as long as I'm with you and I'm working. Okay, okay. <laughs> Um, I'm actually on my way to work and I'm running late already. So I, um, I'll see you tomorrow. Mm. Okay? okay? Yes. I, I'll look for a way around it. I'll, I'll, I'll get, I'll get to you. Yes. No problem, ma. God bless you. Okay. Thank Have you. a nice day. Stop crying. Thank you. Still here? Yes, it's, you know, you said you'll see me tomorrow. But there's no need. I cannot wait till tomorrow. No house to go back to. Hunger will not even allow me to stay in that house. So there was no point going home. You mean you've been here since morning? Yes, I've been here, madam. I've been here since morning. I'm sorry, ma. No, no, no it's okay. Come into the car. I should come inside? Yes. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. You're very much welcome. Okay, um... The thing is, I... I am a chartered accountant with one of the thriving companies in the States. I have a toddler who I enrolled in a daycare school, but my schedule is quite tight. So sometimes it's difficult for me to drop him off at school and pick him up. Today, my husband had to do it because... I didn't have the time to do so. But of course, if I had a nanny, she would do the job. Um, the thing is, you actually remind me of my mother, oh. my late mom. Oh, and I would rather drop my child with you than leave him with a total stranger. You know, anything can happen. I know. It's your cool. Anything can happen. The times are bad. Like you rightly said, that I remind you your I'm your mother. See me as your mother. Don't see me as your staff or your, your friend, but your mother. I'm your child. He's my child. And he's safe with me. Thank you very much. Oh. Um, okay, I'll just um, take you to my house so at least you get to know where you're working and then you can resume tomorrow. No, I'll resume today, today, today. There's no need. Work is work. Let me start. It's better to start than say to work. Tomorrow is too far. You may change your mind. Okay, let's just get to the house first. No problem. Okay. Right. Thank you, ma. Thank you so much, ma. You're welcome. God bless you. My <laughs> God will bless you abundantly. Amen. And He will bless you too. Amen. Well, don't tell me you were here the whole time. I mean, since morning. Do I have any other choice? You said tomorrow is so far. The sun does not kill. I have to wait. Ah, somebody has given me an assurance that we will walk. So why am I going home? Going to where? <laughs> Oh, my God. 
I thought I paid your salary just last week. Yes, madam, you paid me. But you see, I have a daughter who is in the university. So that money you gave me, you paid me, I added it to the one I have and used it to pay her school fees. Yes, she has paid, but she, she needs some money to have provision and pocket money. So I'm begging that you give me a loan for my next month's salary. Please, don't be angry. It's okay. You know, you remind me so much of my mother. My father died when I was five. And my mother single-handedly trained me in school until I graduated and got my license as a chartered accountant. It's okay. It's not a problem, okay? It's all right. I am your mother. In fact, your mother is alive in me. Don't take it to heart. Anything that the mother should do for her own child, I'll do for you. Thank you. Tell your daughter to see me on Sunday morning. Okay. I'll tell her. Thank right. you so much. It's okay, Mama. Let me go back to my chores. All right. Auntie, good morning, Ma. Good morning, my darling. How are you? I'm fine. Ah, ah. Madam Veronica, your daughter is all grown up. Oh. Yes, sir. She's a big girl. Sit down, my darling. <laughs> How are you? Hi, Ma. What's your name, dear? My name is Anita, Ma. Anita. Yes, Ma. Ah. Oh. So what year are you in the school? Third year. What are you studying? Mass communication, Ma. Wow. Then I'm going to use him and I'm going to do that. <laughs> Mama. That's very good. Listen, I'll tell you a short story. I never used to joke with my mother. She meant everything to me. That woman made sure I went to school. She did all sorts of many a job to make sure I graduated. I knew where I was coming from. So I took my studies very seriously. Look at me today. A very successful chartered accountant. I'm a big madam. Ah, madam Veronica. <laughs> Listen, I want you to take care of this woman. I want you to make her proud. Promise me you'll do so. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I brought you something. I'm so real. I didn't know she was this big girl that brought something bigger. Oh my God. It was not real. My name is so much. Oh, oh, shh, shh, shh. Put your voice down. I don't want my husband to know I gave you some money. Okay? Just to manage it. I didn't know she was this big. I would have brought more. Ah, eh? This one is too much already now. What do you mean it's too much? It's too much. For a big girl like you. Stand up, okay? Just use it to take good care of yourself. God bless you, madam. It's okay, madam. Bless you. Amen. I will forever remain indebted to you for everything you have been doing for me and my family. Thank you. No problem. She said she would remain indebted to me. Now she has paid me back in my own coin. My good heart. My kind nature has finally landed me in trouble. Why are her things still in the wardrobe? I hope you don't have plans for both of us to share the same room. Of course no. Don't worry. I will move her things to the guest room. All right? Well, you better hurry up because things like this pisses me off. I don't like it. And be fast about it. Of course, I'll do it. In fact, let me do it right away. She'll be staying in the other room.
I have moved the things from my room to the guest room. All of them. So there will be no need for you to come get them yourself. Hmm? You'll be staying in the guest room. I hope you understand. Hmm? So tell me, is she going to be staying in this house with us? What do you mean? Baby, I need to know my role in this house. You need to explain things to me. Because of course you know I don't like sharing. I already told you, I don't feel comfortable having her around in this house. For goodness sake, I am getting married to a divorcee, not a married man. And I cannot be a second wife. I can't drive into that or this house. I can't. But not to worry. Soonest. She will get tired. Frustrated. And she will leave on her own accord. Baby, that woman I met downstairs doesn't look like someone who will leave this house any moment. She will leave. When? She will leave.